Hello, this is Peter Singh from Past Test, and I'm joined again by Dr. Justin Davies with the answer to another popular question on cardiology raised by candidates studying for the MRCP Part 2 exam. Dr. Davies, a patient complains of palpitations. What investigations would you recommend? Well, prior to embarking on any investigations, I'd always recommend a good history when assessing anyone with palpitations, yeah. as that will often elicit the diagnosis. But assuming you've done that, mm. The investigations you'd then do would be divided into two broad groups. One's to look at the electrics of the heart, and the other would be looking to ensure that the heart is structurally normal. So the electrics, initially you'd get an electrocardiogram performed, of course a test which is widely available in any cardiac centre and many GP practices indeed. And then after that you'd be looking for a more prolonged period of rhythm monitoring. Okay, right. So that way you'd be using a 24 hour halter. So this is a, a device which gets fitted onto a patient to have on for a period of 24 hours, can be longer, could be 48 hours or even up to a week. Uh, over and beyond that, um, we sometimes offer implantation of a loop recorder or, or a reveal device. This is implanted by making a small incision just next to the sternum, pushing a small little device about the size of a matchbox under the skin, which is able to record the electric activity for up to 18 months and we can interrogate that like a pacemaker through the skin. Once you've done all those tests, the next side of the, uh, the investigation would be to ensure that they have a structurally normal heart. And we do that by uh, performing an echocardiogram. And that's very, very important to ensure all the chambers are present, they're all in the right dimensions, and uh, all the valves appear to be normal as well. Assuming that's normal, uh, sometimes we'll offer patients an MRI scan to look at things in even more detail, but usually an echocardiogram suffices. Thanks. Thank you for that. For the answers to more questions like this, feel free to browse our website where you'll find answers from Dr. Davies and many other lecturers on a wide variety of topics. See you next time on Ask the Experts.